in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert user-defined attributes to an element and then present them in the organizer table. Basically, this um, question comes from one of the students of the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. Okay, so let's get started. So here, if you right-click uh, one of the element and then select the user-defined attributes, so these are the list of the user attributes by default. And then uh, what we're going to do is we create uh, additional user field here. So it, at the moment, we have this uh, user field 1 to 4. And uh, uh, now uh, you will see that there's another uh, uh, user field here, the YouTube field. So how to create this uh, YouTube field? So to create this uh, YouTube field, in the UDA, all you have to do is go to uh, your Explorer, Window Explorer, Tecla Structures, 2019i, double click, and then go to the environment, and then click common, and then uh, select the INP, and then from the INP, you need to find the object INP. So if you double click the object INP, all you have to do is to go to this uh, user defined attributes for objects which is the part attributes so this one is for the common part then uh, look for the user field so here all we have to do is uh, uh, copy this uh, user field for okay right click and then copy and then from from this uh, line we just press enter and then control V okay and then change this one to user field 5 okay that's all and then here we can simply type now here the YouTube YouTube field so since uh, okay YouTube field okay so since we have the existing YouTube field in our uh, user field here okay so we're going to put uh, additional uh, character here so that we can see the changes of the UDA here so let's say user field let's say 101 all right and then click save and then close so once you close this one enable for uh, this user field 101 to uh, uh, to appear in our UDA all we have to do now is to save this model and then close it save and then open the model again okay so once you have the uh, model you can uh, select again one of the element and then right click on it and then you should define attributes and then here as you can see here YouTube field 101 where in the uh, in object INP these are the the one that we have changed earlier YouTube field 101 and then you can see here YouTube field 101 and then uh, all you have to do is to add now the uh, uh, the value or the content of this YouTube field 101 so let's say for example this one we type here uh, one Lolo one modify so this one also modify so this two let's say this is YOLO two modify this one is YOLO three modify and then this one is YOLO four and lastly this one YOLO five Okay, so once you're done, all you have to do now is to run the numbering. And here, if you inquire this, uh, if you inquire this part, you will find this uh, U YouTube field 101, and then this is the this is the value. Okay, so now the next thing is how we are going to show this one in our organizer. Now let's open the organizer. Go to manage, click the organizer.
So I'll just simply click this synchronize to get all this uh, information from the model uh, to be uh, captured in, inside the uh, organizer. Okay, and then all we have to do now is select the default values. So this time we're just uh, simply selecting the default values. If you notice here, uh, this is the default values. So if I select all of this uh, element, so everything will be shown in our uh, object browser here. So now, how we're going to add this uh, field in this uh, object browser? So all you have to do is to select this uh, setting, select open setting. Okay, select the open setting. And then here, we select the default. So we're not going to create a new one, but uh, we, ju we just uh, simply uh, add the uh, user field in the existing uh, or in the default template. Okay, so all you have to do is to add new column. So this is the new column. So we can change the, the value here. Let's say UDA. Okay, and then for the uh, uh, for the properties, okay, all you have to do here under these properties, you just simply type here user field, okay. So earlier we created this uh, user field here. You can see we have this uh, user field five, and then. Uh, you will find the user field 5 here. So all you have to do is to select this user field 5. Alright. And then drag that one here. Drag and drop the properties. Okay. Let's say single values. Okay. So once you added the uh, user field 5 to this uh, new properties here, all you have to do next is click modify. And that's it and then close it and then you will find now the UDA appear here okay so now let's select everything and then you can see now the UDA that you have added or the the UDA values the attribute that you added in each and every element will be will appear in your object browser okay so that's how you uh, add this UDA in our organizer. Thank you.